Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're going to be looking out looking at how to use the T-Inspire to answer or at least help us answer uh, binomial questions. So for instance, if I have something like this where I had to find the eighth term of 3x minus 2y to the power of 14. Well, we've been given this formula in your formula booklet. And in the formula booklet, this is the, the middle term that they give you in the formula. And it says that the general term or the or r plus first term is equal to n choose r times a to the power n minus r b to the power r. <coughs> so for instance, if I have 3x minus 2y to the power of 14, what I want to do is find the eighth term. So term eight. Well, if this is term eight, that means r plus one is eight. That means r is equal to seven. So n, n is always this number. So it's 14, choose eight. Oh no, r is seven, sorry. A, a is your first one, which is your first term in the, the binomial, which is three x to the power of n minus r, so 14 minus seven. And then b to the power r, b is negative 2y. Don't forget your negative. Negative 2y to the power r, and r was 7. So how you answer this question is getting out your calculator. So we wanted to figure out first what was 14 choose 7. So if you're doing that, we're going to go calculate. And we're going to go to menu. And this is a probability, probability moment when we are doing combinations. So if we are doing 14, choose 7. So once again, it's menu, probability, and then combinations. Okay. So let's get out of there. And if we got 14, choose 7, and it's 3,432. So going back to my problem, this is equal to 3,400, and I've forgotten already, 3,432. And this is all times. So that's times 3 to the power 7, times x to the power 7, and then negative 2 to the power 7, and y to the power 7. So we're going to have to figure out what 3,432 times 3 to the power 7 times negative 2 to the power 7 equals. So back to my calculator. So that we're going to take this and we're going to times it by 3 to the power 7. So 3 to the power of 7. And then we're going to times it by negative 2. So I'll put that in bracket. Negative 2 to the power of, I believe this was 7 as well. Okay. Enter. And we get some really big number. Negative 9607403529. So that's 960 million. So that's equal to negative 960 million 740,000 740,000 352 352 and don't forget we need your x to the power of 7 y to the power of 7 so this would give you the eighth term sometimes they just want the coefficient if that's so, then it would just be the number in front of your x to the power 7, y to the power 7. Hope this helps. Have a good day.